Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I've got something new to show you. This is Northwest Digital Radio's new Thumb DV, D Star Radio on a USB stick. Let's take a look at it. Here you see their DV3000. I hope you had a chance to view my videos on how I got this thing up and running. Look for the series on D-Star Radio for the Linux Challenged Radio Amateur. And here's the little sister right here, the Thumb DV. One of the things you're going to notice right away when you look at these two products are these little stickers over the chips here. Some people think they're trying to hide something here. That's not the case. Let me tell you what I know. I had the opportunity to ask Brian Hoyer about it. He's K7UDR and he's the lead engineer working on the UDR digital radio project coming out of the San Juan Islands here in the Pacific Northwest. Northwest Digital Radio has nothing to do with that chip at all. It's actually a product coming out from an organization called Digital Voice Systems Incorporated. They've created this chip, it's called an Ambi chip. It's a vocoder. It digitizes the voice and presents it in a way that it can be broadcast in a digital form over amateur radio and other means. So what's AMBI? Well that stands for Advanced Multiband Excitation. Well that's exciting. Well clearly there are some big differences between these two boards. The original DV3000 was designed to plug into a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi was a good choice because when Brian was developing this board, he wanted to have a platform that the other engineers working on software could use for the development of their UDR radio. So this plugs right in to a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi, however, isn't the only product you can plug this into. There's another board out called the Odroid. Take a look here. Both the Odroid and the new Raspberry Pis have expanded their header port here from 26 pins to 40 pins. But the DV3000 still plugs into those boards. You'll just have some extra pins off on the edge that you're not using. And of course it's obvious that the Thumb DV doesn't have any of these pins on it. It simply plugs into the USB of your computer. In my opinion, I think I prefer the original board. The reason is simple. This one is going to plug right into the UDR radio when it becomes available. I like that. I imagine with the USB ports that will be on that radio, there will probably be a way to use the Thumb DV as well. But I like the idea that this board will be under the hood and this one sticking out the back end doesn't excite me so much. Let's give this guy a try and see what we can do with it. I've got a USB extension cable here plugged into my desktop tower. I'm running Windows 7. So let's plug in the Thumb DV and see what happens. We'll hear our beep and I saw a little red LED blink. I kind of expected to see some sort of a message saying that a new device had been found. There was none of that although there was a simple sound. So I'm going in here to the device manager. We're looking at it here. I'll plug the Thumb DV in again. And sure enough, we've got a USB serial port here. Let's see what happens if we open that. Aha! The drivers for this device are not installed. Fortunately, we've got a solution for that right there on the Northwest Digital website. They want us to go over to the ftdichip.com website where we can find some installation guides. I've got them queued up over here. Browsing around the FTDI website, I found this page that talks about some drivers. If I scroll down, we see that we have a driver available for Windows. It includes Windows 7. Here's a setup executable. I'll give it a try. We'll extract these files. Now let's let the wizard do its thing. Here's some good news. When we check our device manager again, our USB serial port now doesn't have a warning icon on it and it actually tells me I'm on COM7. I think we're making some progress. The Northwest Digital Radio 
website has some software that I'm interested in. Right down here, something called Dutch Star Wind DV. Let's take a look. D-Star for the rest of us. And look, here's our thumb DV right here. Dutch radio amateur Fred Van Kempen, Papa Alpha 4, Yankee, Bravo, Romeo, has put a lot of work into a wonderful piece of software called DV Node. We're going to take a look at a version called WinDV. In order to download any software, you will need to create an account and log on. The first time you launch the program, you'll be directed to Open Program Options and fill in several settings there. While you're at it, select Settings and check the pages here. There may be some settings that you want to change. I chose one of the open quadnet servers from this window. You'll need to restart the program for these settings to take effect. As it is with anything we do in amateur radio, it's good practice to spend some time listening before we do any transmitting. The way I connected to and, Reflector uh, 1 Charlie, one and I heard e Stefan, DL1ESZ, located in and Germany. And then I used my handheld, my telephone, to establish an uh, internet connection. And via wireless LAN from the Raspberry to my handheld telephone and to the telephone through, through the internet. We all here have uh, 500 and, and it is a very, very um, uh, small protocol. That means uh, if you drive a computer... After making a few adjustments to my computer audio settings, I decided to give it a try myself. Listen in to part of the QSO I had with Rick, G1ZGZ in Nottingham, England. Here is Rick, Romeo, India, Charlie Keeley, location near Nottingham, Central England. Very good, Rick. Uh, the name here is Bud Bravo Uniform Delta Delta, and I'm experimenting here with the uh, the new uh, Northwest Digital Radio Thumb DV, a little USB stick that I plugged into the Windows computer here, and I'm basically trying it out. I, so you're pretty much my first contact with this thing. How does it sound over there? Go ahead. Well, that's uh, Bud, your audio is yeah, it's okay. Uh, what did he say the equipment was at that, that end again? Go ahead. Uh, Roger, Rick. This is a, it's called a Thumb DV. Um, this is the guys that created the DV3000. It's a ambi uh, breakout board that plugs into a Raspberry Pi. And so they just recently came out with a new version, which is on a USB stick. And they call it the Thumb DV. And it just plugs into any computer, Windows, uh, Macintosh, Linux, and it's equivalent of a dongle. So if you're not where you can run your radio and get in, you can use this right on a computer. And so I'm experimenting with it. Actually, I'm doing a video. Going to, I'm doing a video here on this Thumb DV as well, but I've got to do some more tweaking on it. I'm looking at the, the meter on the screen now, and I seem to be peaking up, so maybe my audio is doing better. You can let me know. But before you take it, Rick, uh, we did hear WA7RPM come in there. Maybe he want to try again. This is WB7FHC standing by. Yeah, nothing yet. Um, yeah, I think it's got audio issues. Uh, but yours is fine now, yeah. Altitude's fine. I want to thank Rick and Nottingham and the other hams that we heard during this demonstration. It was fun putting it together. It's been a lot of fun working with the little dongle here, the Thumb DV. Nice little product. It's going to be fun. You can travel easy, plug it into any computer. We've got a winner with this one. I'd also like to thank Fred Van Kempen with the wonderful job that he's done with the WinDV software. He makes it real easy for us to show our support for his efforts, and I certainly don't mind sending $20 his way. It's been fun sharing this video with you, and I hope you've enjoyed these 10 minutes. 73s for now. Hope to see you soon later. And hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.